How you doing there, folks? Interesting claims by this uh, Bay Grillis here, uh, Lord Blackcroft or whatever. Uh, apparently, he's supposed to, he allegedly knows something about MRAs. Uh, let's see how much he knows about MRAs. I just so happened to have recorded a call the other day. Um, we're having an election here in Ontario, and so, you know, the parties are making calls. Uh, I happened to talk to a woman about men's mental health issues, and let's see if Bay is correct in any way, shape, or form here. Just to kind of, you know, when I say that I was, I've been involved with some political advocacy, I was on a hunger strike advocating for men's mental health issues to be addressed back in 2015 at Queen's Park and Premier Wynne did her darndest to ignore me. Now, here we are, three years later, a young man with some severe mental health issues did something atrocious in downtown Toronto. And I would like to know why Premier Wynn ignored my my call to like start paying attention to this issue back in 2015. Ma'am, I was there on a hunger strike for nine days. Nine days I was there. Yeah. And she is providing her plenty of opportunity to talk to the people. You know, open up you know open up the discussion on men's mental health issues. And she chose um, not to. I will pass this on to the appropriate person and um, hopefully somebody will speak to you and back and give the right but, but you know what? Don't worry, ma'am. I, I I would like to make this clear. I'm I'm gonna ask all the running party that question because okay. they are okay. all at Queen's Park. Okay. I raised that issue about men's mental health issues, you know, issues being ignored back in 2015. I'm going to give you an example on the Mental Health Association's website, Canadian Mental Health Association's website. If you put in the search bar women's mental health, you will be, yeah. you will get a return of 11 discussion papers. Okay, great, awesome. God bless them for that. I have a mother, I have female cousins, relatives, etc., etc., etc. I want their health and you know health issues addressed. Okay, discussed. If you put in men's mental health, you will discover one discussion paper. Okay? Men make up 75 to 76, maybe even 77, depending on where you draw the adult line, of all suicides in Canada. Today, Eight men will kill themselves across Canada, along with three women. My heart goes out to each and every one of those families and communities that lose someone. But isn't it about time we started taking men's mental health issues and those issues that cause mental health issues seriously? Okay. Um, There are some honorable people out there, and there are some people out there who will ignore these serious issues to, uh, for, for gain of some sort, political gain, monetary gain, whatever the gain is. I do not understand it. Why? You know, I do not understand why, but it is happening, and I've documented it. Um, Ma'am, you've been civil. Great, awesome. I'm so, <laughs> I, I'm, I'm betting I was not the average call for you this morning. <laughs> <laughs> well, Big, seems like you're full of shit, just like any other fucking MRA critic. Isn't it about time you stopped lying about folks like me there, Bay? Because I'll tell you what, what you're doing is you're increasing that fucking suicide number. And it's a goddamn fucking deplorable fucking practice that you're doing. Maybe you should stop and talk to people like me instead of lying about people like me. Dan out.